respected chairperson and uh, my dear teacher participants i would like to thanks for getting chance to share my observation on preamble of indian constitution the term preamble refers to the introduction or preface to the constitution it contains the summary or essence of uh, the constitution in a palkiwala um an eminent jurist and constitutional expert called the preamble as the identity card of the constitution the american constitution was the first to begin with a preamble many countries including india followed this practice the preamble to the indian constitution is based on the objective resolution drafted and uh, moved by pandit jawaharlal nehru and uh, adopted by the constituent assembly it has been amended by the 42nd constitutional amendment act 1976 which added three new words socialist secular and integrity now i am going to read preamble of constitution of india we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizen justice social economic and political liberty of thoughts expression belief faith and ownership equality of status and uh, of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and uh, the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26 day of november 1949 do hereby adopt in act and uh, give to ourselves this constitution if you study deeply at the preamble of the indian constitution you will see four ingredients of uh, preamble first of all you will see the source of authority source of the authority of the constitution you know that the preamble starts we the people of india that means indian people is a authority of the indian constitution the preamble states that the constitution derives its authority from the people of india secondly nature of indian state it declares india to be of a sovereign socialist secular democratic and uh, republican polity thirdly objectives of the constitution it specifies justice liberty equality and uh, fraternity as the objectives and lastly date of adoption of the constitution it stipulates november uh, 26 1949 as the date the preamble to our constitution serves two purposes one it indicates the source from which the constitution derives its authority and two it also states the objects which the constitution seeks to establish and promote now keywords in the preamble there are certain keywords uh, sovereign socialist secular democratic republic justice liberty equality and uh, fraternity are explained briefly due to inadequate time we know 
India is a sovereign state. The word sovereign implies that India is neither a dependency nor a domination of any other nation but an independent state. There is no authority above it and it is free to conduct its own internal and external affairs. We know that India is a socialist state. In the context of uh, Indian state, socialism is not uh, a Marxian socialism. The Indian brand of socialism is a democratic socialism and not a communistic socialism. Democratic socialism holds faith in a mixed economy where both public and private sectors coexist side by side. As the Supreme Court says, democratic socialism aims to end poverty, ignorance, disease and inequality of opportunity. Indian socialism is a blend of Marxism and Gandhism, leaning heavily towards Gandhian socialism. You know very well India is a secular state. India does not itself uphold any religion as a state religion. The Indian constitution embodies uh, the positive concept of secularism. Uh, that is, all religions in our country, respective of their strength, have the same status and uh, suffered from the state. In the preamble, India is also a democratic state. A democratic polity is based on the doctrine of popular sovereignty, that is, possession of uh, supreme power by the people. We know India has parliamentary democracy. The Indian constitution provides for representative parliamentary democracy under which the executive is responsible to the legislature for all its policies and action. The term democratic is used in the preamble in the broader sense, embracing not only political democracy but also social and economic democracy. The term republic in our preamble indicates uh, that uh, India has an elected head called the president. He is elected indirectly for a fixed period of uh, five years. A republic also means two more things, one vesting of political sovereignty in the people and uh, not in a single individual like a king. Second, uh, the absence of any privileged class and uh, hence all public office uh, being open to every citizen without any discrimination. The term justice in the preamble embraces three distinct forms, social, economic and uh, political, secured through various provision of fundamental rights and uh, directive principles. The idea of justice uh, has been taken from the Russian Revolution. Liberty means the absence of restraints on the activities of individuals and uh, at the same time providing opportunities for the development of individual personalities. The preamble secures uh, to all citizens of India liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith and worship through their fundamental rights enforceable in court of law in case of violation. The idea of liberty, equality and fraternity in our preamble have been taken from the French Revolution. The term equality means the absence of special privileges to any section of the society and the provision of adequate opportunities for all individuals without any discrimination. The preamble secures 
to all citizens of India, equality of status and uh, opportunity. This provision embraces three dimensions of equality, civic, political and economic. Fraternity means a sense of brotherhood. The constitution promotes this feeling of fraternity by the system of single citizenship. Also the fundamental duty says that uh, it shall be the duty of every citizen of India to promote harmony and uh, the spirit of common brotherhood amongst all the people of India transcending religious, linguistic, regional and uh, sectional diversities. The preamble declares that fraternity has to assure two things, the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation. Now, the significance of the preamble. The preamble embodies the basic philosophy and uh, fundamental values, political, moral and religious, on which the constitution is based. Pandit Thakur Das Bhargav, member of uh, the Constituent Assembly, summed up the importance of the preamble in the following words. The preamble is the most precious part of the Constitution. It is the soul of the Constitution. It is a key to the Constitution. And uh, it is a jewel set of the Constitution. It is a proper yardstick with which one can measure the worth of the constitution. An important significance of uh, the preamble is preamble as a part of the constitution. The importance and utility of the preamble has been pointed out in several decisions of our Supreme Court. Though by itself, it is not enforceable in a court of law. The preamble to a written constitution states the objects which the constitution seeks to establish and promote and also aid the legal interpretation of the constitution where the language is found to be ambiguous. These are the references. Thank you.